Hey everyone, Jaw here. Welcome to this tutorial on the Red Pitaya where I'll be showing you how to use the SSH connection to use any of the command line tools provided with Red Pitaya. Before you st we start this tutorial, make sure that you are connected to the internet with the Red Pitaya on the same network as your laptop computer or any mobile device that you may be using. For this tutorial, I'll be using an Ethernet bridge whereby my internet is being provided by my Wi-Fi card and I'll be sharing it to the Red Pitaya via an Ethernet cable which is basically an RJ45 adapter which looks like this. Now, since I'll be bridging the connection, I'd need a static IP address. If you are using this method too, I think this part of the tutorial will prove very helpful to you. To do so, if you are using a Linux operating system, press on the network connections icon. Next on edit connections, choose the name of your Ethernet connection which could be ETH0 by default. Press on edit, choose IPv4 settings, change the method which could be by default the automatic mode to manual. Now we add a configuration. Make sure the address is 192.168.1.1 the netmask being 255.255.255.0 Press enter and then save this configuration. You should see your Ethernet being connected here. Next, let's try an SSH into the Red Pitaya. Make sure your Red Pitaya is already powered up and connected to the Internet by whichever means you're using. Go to Terminal type in the following ssh root at the IP address of your red pitaya. This IP address should be the same as the one in the configuration file present in your SD card. Now the one I'm using is 192.168.1.101. It should then prompt you for the password which by default is root. That's R O T. Press enter. And you should see you're now connected to the red pitaya. Next, to see the options on how to type in the command line tool, you can use this help option. Type in the name of the tool first. Say you want to generate a signal, so type in generate. Press enter. And this should show you the exact syntax on how to type in and use this command line utility. First you type in the channel number, next the amplitude number, followed by the frequency and the shape of the signal waveform you'd like, which could be a sine wave, square or triangular wave. Pay attention to the limits on these values before you use it. Another tool that you can use is the acquire tool whereby you can you can use the signal acquisition to receive any signal from an external input to see the syntax just type in acquire have a look at the exact syntax and use it accordingly the third and final utility which is currently provided is the monitor utility This gives you a way to access the FPGA registers and to use any of the GPIO pins provided on board the Red Pitaya. Next, let's show you the web application. To do so, fire up your web browser and type in the exact IP address as the one you may have used in the command line earlier. It 
should load up and show you a screen similar to this. For a short demo, I'll be using the generator and oscilloscope application. Initially, you should see flat lines, meaning that no signal is currently being generated or received by the red pitta. To generate a signal on the red pitta and receive it to do a small test, let's generate a sine wave of amplitude 1.5 volts and a frequency of 10 kilohertz. Next, you can press the tick button allowing to generate the signal. Notice that you also have the option to upload your own set of samples or any customized waveform you'd like to generate which should be in the CSV file format .csv. You can notice that the signal is currently being generated and shown. To change the mode of viewing the waveform, you can use any of these options via the drop down box on the trigger menu. This shows a paused version of the waveform allowing you to zoom in and notice any part of the waveform. You can do so by using the scroll button on your mouse. So you can zoom in to any part of the signal as such. To reset the zoom, you can use the reset button option. To scale it down to the size of your window, you can use the auto scale option. Now, you have seen a method on how to generate a signal via your web application. How about using the command line tools? Let's keep the oscilloscope application running in the background. Go back to your command line and utilize a tool of your choice. For this demo, I'll be using the generate tool to generate a sine waveform. Do so. Follow the exact syntax as you had seen before. Choose the channel number, the amplitude, the frequency, which is 10 kHz in this case, and the shape of the waveform. Type in enter, and you should see it running in the background. Let's say we want to use a different shape, say a triangle waveform. You should see the changes immediately on your screen. Make sure to play around with these tools and exploring their uses. More information can be found on the wiki maintained by the Red Pitaya and the several user manuals that they host. For other help topics, please check out my other tutorials on the YouTube channel. Hope you have enjoyed it and hope this has helped you out in any problems you might be having. See you all.